Do you ever wonder how people put animated icons on their videos and websites just like this and make it look cool with motion and things like that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a massive library of thousands of animated icons download that you can use on your websites and videos for free. And I'll walk you through step by step on how to edit, change color and use them. Hey, it's Al Wong here helping you to thrive with videos and technology. On this channel, I share video and marketing tips, tutorials and useful tools just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, as we already know, icons are great at explaining concepts in a visual way and keep viewers focused without too much text. An animation by its nature attracts attention and brings the whole thing to life. But animating these icons from scratch can be really time consuming. Thankfully, there's a free ready to use animated icon resource available and it's called Lord Icons. So if you head over to the screen over here, when you go over to lordicon.com, you will see this page over here. So of course they are like still developing and making changes as, as we go along. But basically once you're here, you will see that there are currently thousands of free icons available in their database. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see that they offer two types of icons. Wired, this is the icons that comprise of fun and expressive concepts and system comprised of icons that you would normally use on your website and call to actions. Okay, so this is great for your user, your user interface and things like that. And if you go down a little bit more, there's an external video that you can watch on how to use their site and change color and all that, which we'll go through in this tutorial as well. And you go down further more, there are different types of animation triggers as well. So let's say if you were to embed these icons onto your website, um, you can actually set this animation to trigger, let's say, on hover. So this means only when you mouse over it, the animation will take place. And then loop on the other hand, it will play the animation from the first to the last frame indefinitely with no interaction necessary at all. And then there's the morph and the boomerang that you can check out on your own. If you go further some more down, you can see there are also different ideas and different layouts on how to use these icons. Pretty cool, right? To get started, let's head over to the Explore library. Just click over here. And once you're here, select the icon type and the style that you want to work with. We're going to go ahead and choose the Wired Flat. And once you're here, you can actually search for an icon um, with a specific keyword. You can also filter to view just the free icons. And you can also browse through the icons through their comprehensive um, category list over here. And as we scroll down, you can see it's a huge list. And let's say you are in the um, uh, let's say you're in the education space. Just click on education, and it will show you all these education-related icons. Um, if you're looking for emojis, which are great for videos, especially. These are the emojis that you can use. Um, if you're in the finance space, okay, this will show all the finance related icons. So you can just uh, take your time and go through the categories here. It's, it's a lot of um, value um, that they're giving away over here. Let's just do a quick demonstration on how to customize the icons. Let's try look for a thumbs up icon. So once you find the icon that you like to use, just click on it. And over here, this is the quick edit panel on the right hand side. If you scroll down, you can see that um, you can actually change the color palette over here. So if you want to replace the blue, just simply click on it. And uh, let's just change the color. Uh, if you want to change the, the hand, let's um, choose something a little bit more brown. Okay. And if you want to do a little bit more advanced editing, like um, customize the animation triggers and all that, you can click on the right hand icon that will open up the full editor. Okay, so over here, this is the full editor. And this is where we talked about earlier on the animation triggers. You can actually change it over here, but I'll just leave everything as this default at the moment. 
Okay, so once you are satisfied with your customization, below are the download options with multiple file formats. Now I know it may look overwhelming, but not to worry, I'll walk you through on which ones you should focus on. Okay, so when it comes to animations, right now the new industry standard is Loti JSON file. This is a file format that is tiny, high quality and vector based, meaning to say that you can scale infinitely without losing quality. So as compared to GIF file, it's about six times um, the file size uh, that's much smaller. So it's, it's better for your website loading as well. So if your website allows it, I would say always use the embed HTML format for web because when you select the embed option, this will actually um, take the file directly from load icon to load the loti file so let me show you a quick demonstration okay so i'm right now in click funnels which is the uh, editor of my choice of course uh, you can use it on any editor that you're using as well but the main um, thing that you want to look for is a custom html embed option and over here is where i paste the code okay and let's just uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison for a GIF file. So a GIF is basically the image file. Okay, so let's download the GIF version as well. Let's select um, transparent because I've got this different color background that I'm using. And I'll just select 250 should be big enough for what I need for my website. Okay, so let's just upload this into ClickFunnels right now. Okay, all right, so let's save that and give this a preview. There you go. So as you can see, a side-by-side -side comparison, this is the LoT file, which we have embedded directly through HTML coding. You can see it's a lot more cleaner along the edges, whereas the GIF file, it's, a little, it's, it's more pixelated. So whenever you can, always use the LoT file. And in this case, for websites, you want to use the embed HTML version. Your videos, um, the same thing, depending on which editor that you're using, and whether your editor supports uh, LoT files right now. The editor of my choice is Create Studio Pro, so they do support LoT. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this as well and show you a comparison side by side. Okay, let's just upload this, import it into the video editing software. I'm using Create Studio Pro. If you haven't checked it out, you can click on the uh, link in the description below. It's an amazing, amazing uh, video editing software packed with a lot of features. Okay, so let's just pull this over. There we go. So if we're to zoom in already, you can see the stock difference between um, the LoT and the GIF file. Okay, so there are the other um, file formats, the PNG and SVG is more for graphic editing. These are like static um, images, so there's no animation in these. So you could also um, consider using the PNG and SVG when needed. But when it comes to animation, as I, as I said earlier, always go for the JSON LoT format if you can, or the next result would be to use the animated GIF, which is the older um, animation file format. So that sums up this video. If you enjoyed this video and found value in it, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And in the meantime, I'll leave a couple of relevant videos right here for you to watch next. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.